Um, I saw Mershi make a great pass. Um, you know, I've seen him uh, react to rebounds and, and just give guys backdoor tap-ins all the time. So I know playing online with him. Um, I saw the puck, you know, sort of bounce out to the right of the goalie. I know I just kind of had to get open and he would find me and that's what he did. So. You guys have played together for a while, but Ryan Johnson started that play. What have you seen from him as a rookie D? He kind of makes that skating effortlessly as he gets by guys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm glad he's on our team because uh, he can move at the blue line, that's for sure. Um, he, uh, like you said, he makes it like effortless, honestly. And um, even on that one, maybe it wasn't so much his skating, but just his ability to get the puck to the net there. Um, and it created a, a Opportunity for us in front of the net to do our thing. So, University have been line mates for a long time now. Did, did you see anything? Or was it a play or something where he, he left the game? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, I have no information on that. Honestly, I, I haven't talked to him. How hard is it to, at least from the bench energy standpoint, though? You have a captain, you have a leader, a guy who keeps things positive in all scenarios, not there. Is that difficult? Um, yeah, I'm sure it can be. Um, you know, I think losing your captain's uh, not easy, um, but you know we should have enough leadership and, and um, older guys here that can sort of step in and take his place when it comes to energy and, and keeping a calm head. And uh, yeah, it was tough to lose him today for sure, but we'll see what happens. Sometimes games have a, a turning point. Was there one in this one, or was it just tough from the get go? Uh, yeah, I honestly don't know. I don't think uh, I don't think we we were good enough right from the start, um, and uh, we weren't good enough all the way through. Um, and we know that, and uh, you know it's still early in the season, and we're going to fix that. We're not going to we're not going to let that happen again. That's for sure. You get to practice tomorrow, a morning skate Friday before the game. How do you guys look to bounce back and respond? Um, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I think uh, it's a lot of a lot to do with just the intensity. Um, I don't think we brought it today. Uh, hopefully, we can kind of practice tomorrow with some compete and some some will, uh, and just bring it this weekend. So. Looking big picture, so far this season, this is just the first night so far where you guys don't score at least three goals. How is it knowing that on a typical night you guys have a really good offense? Yeah, it's great. Um, offense is great, you know, especially being a forward. You love, you love when we're scoring goals. Um, but, uh, you know, it won't happen every night. Uh, what you saw today, today we only got two, and sometimes you got to win two to one, one nothing. That's what happens. Uh, we weren't great defensively today, and it shows. Uh, you know, we can't just be expecting to win games 5 4, 6 5. Um, we got to bear down and, and you know, play defense. We got to play defense, and hopefully, it'll turn it off. So. Obviously, it's voice time here limited. What do you kind of look at him as one of the leaders of this team? What do you see? Uh, I see a very skilled young player. Um, you know, he, he is, he's very fast. He thinks the game well. He made a great pass to uh, Kulik there today. Um, I think that was him, right? Yeah. And uh, his unbelievable hockey IQ. Uh, he competes hard, and uh, I don't think there's enough good things I could say about him. I think that's, uh, that's why he was such a, a highly, you know, touted draft pick and, and prospect right now. And, yeah, it's fun having it's fun having them on our team and fun watching, for sure. When you look at that line as a whole, since they've been together, three first round picks in the second line, how is it surprising at all how productive they've been? Absolutely not. Um, I mean, Cooley led our team in, in goals last year, and you know, Rosie wasn't too far behind. We didn't get to see much of Savoy, but his numbers in uh, his own team last year were, were phenomenal. And uh, you put three players like that. Um, they love scoring goals and making plays together uh, when they're willing to compete, and they have been. They they're doing really well. They're I mean they're leading our team right now. So.